The movie begins with a woman called Alice sitting in her motel room when she receives a call from her husband Eric. It is 2 o'clock in the morning and when she answers the phone in the bathroom, he reminds her that they have a fertility appointment later that day. Alice works as a social media manager at a medical company and has to travel for work. She is staying the night at a motel and unknown to Eric, his wife is cheating on him with her colleague John. The two of them are seen checking out of the motel after spending the night together. Alice and her husband are struggling to conceive but Eric is very supportive and always there for her. As the two of them talk, John sees that the fuel in the car is low which surprises him as he only filled up the car the day before. They soon pull over at a gas station and John starts to refuel the car. Alice makes her way into the convenience store to get herself some coffee. Outside, the camera pans to the underside of the car and we see fuel leaking out. As John refuels the car, he looks up and sees a billboard that reads God is nowhere. Next, we see Alice make her way to the counter to pay for her coffee but strangely, no one is around so she just leaves the money on the counter. Suddenly as she looks up, she is startled when she sees blood on the wall and decides that it's time to leave. She quickly makes her way to the door but just before she can make it out, she is shot in the arm. She falls to the ground and shots are fired through the windows as she takes cover. Alice crawls to safety and screams out for help, but no one hears her. John is listening to music in the car and is unaware of what is going on. Inside we see Alice trying to compose herself and when she tries to look around the corner outside, a bullet comes flying towards her. This is where she realizes that there is a sniper on the billboard outside. She is trapped in the store and John is totally oblivious. Alice desperately crawls to her phone but as she tries to take it, the sniper shoots it. Alice looks around and sees a camera system and realizes that there is another exit to the store. Suddenly, she hears a voice and realizes that it is coming from a walkie-talkie on the counter. Alice throws two packets of chips in the air to distract the sniper, she then quickly rushes towards it. She pleads with the man over the walkie-talkie to call the cops, the man on the other side asks about his wife called Amelia. Meanwhile outside, John realizes that the car is close to empty again and decides to inspect it. He sees that the fuel tank is leaking and becomes concerned that Alice is still not back. He decides to go find her and walks over to the store. To his horror, he sees Alice hiding and suddenly, he is shot in the neck and falls to the floor. He asks Alice to help him but the sniper shoots him again and this time, he is finished off. Alice can't believe what is happening. She retrieves the walkie-talkie using a mop and speaks to the man again. She tells him what is going on in the store but he is more concerned about his wife Amelia. She tells the man there is no one else there. The man then calls the cops and he tells Alice that they will be there in 15 minutes. Suddenly, she hears a deranged laugh on the other side and that's when Alice realizes that she is talking to the sniper. Alice is absolutely distraught. The man tells her that if she doesn't keep talking to him he is going to come down to the store. Alice looks around frantically thinking of what to do. She sees a bunch of switches on the wall. She thinks that if she can turn the lights off, the sniper will not be able to see her and she will have a better chance of escaping. She tries to throw a few objects at the switches but her plan doesn't work. As she lays back, she sees that the shelf she is hiding behind has wheels. She edges it forwards and hides behind it as the sniper tries to shoot her. She jumps out and manages to turn off the lights. A few minutes later Alice tries to find someone else on the radio but it keeps going back to the sniper. The sniper tells her that there is no one else nearby and that it is only him, her and his wife there. As Alice crawls through the store, she finds Amelia but she is dead. The sniper then tells her that he killed his wife because she was cheating on him. After hearing this, Alice becomes even more worried as she has been cheating on her husband. Sometime later, Alice sees a car driving into the gas station. A man named Doug gets out and steps into the store looking for his girlfriend Amelia. Alice quickly tells him to get down as there is someone trying to kill everyone. She tells him to call the cops but he tells her that he left his phone in the car. Alice tells him that Amelia has already been killed by her husband but Doug doesn't believe her, he tells her that she wasn't even married. It dawns on Alice that since Doug entered the store, the sniper hasn't fired any shots and she becomes suspicious of him. Doug quickly makes his case and tells her that he is not the killer. Both he and Amelia worked the late shifts together so he came to see her. 
Alice is still skeptical and she tells him to go to his car to get his phone. She tells him that she will distract the sniper as best as she can. Doug is not sure about her plan but she tells him that this is the only way out of the situation and he reluctantly agrees. Doug makes his way to the car but as soon as he tries to grab the phone, it is shot into smithereens and he is quickly shot in the head. Alice is all alone again and she blames herself for getting Doug killed. To make matters worse, the sniper tells her that she is a murderer and that she sent Doug on a suicide mission. The sniper seems to know that Alice was at the medical convention earlier, he disgusted by how she makes drugs that adversely affect so many people's lives. Alice tells him that she is only a social media manager and it is her company who makes the drugs. He tells her that that is even worse because she sells and lies that the drugs are good for humans. The sniper then tells Alice she is selfish and only got to the top by stabbing other people at work in the back. He then tells her that he knows she falsely accused a man of sexual assault just to get a better position. The man was fired and left with no money to care for his sick daughter. As the sniper rants on, Alice sees a bunch of umbrellas next to the counter and hatches a plan. She lines up a few umbrellas in front of the store window for cover, but as soon as the sniper sees this, he fires a few shots through the glass. Alice manages to get to the other exit door but it is locked. She tries to break the padlock with a fire extinguisher but unfortunately for her, she can't open it. Next, a man drives up to fill up some gas but when his card is declined, he drives off much to Alice's despair. The sniper spares his life as he was unaware of what was going on. Sometime later, Alice tries to convince the sniper to let her go. She tells him that she has not been able to conceive and that has put a lot of stress on her marriage. This is where it is revealed that the sniper knows that she has been cheating on her husband. He tells her that she is trash and the world would be a better place without her. Suddenly, Alice sees blue lights in the distance, a cop is driving towards the gas station at high speed and she thinks they are coming to save her, unfortunately, they don't stop and drive past. Alice sees this as her opportunity to escape and rushes to John's car. The sniper repeatedly asks where she is but when she tries to get into the car, he sees her and fires a shot right at her. Alice runs back to the store as a barrage of bullets come down on her, she manages to make it back inside but she has been shot in the thigh. Alice passes out but when she wakes up again, she patches up her leg with some duct tape. All this time, the sniper continues to rant about how bad humanity has become. All patched up, she looks through the store and finds a uniform with the name Tag Henry. He was fired a few weeks ago but all his stuff is still at the store including a photo of him and his daughter. Alice then grabs a hacksaw and tries to cut through the lock, as she tries to open it, she cuts her hand open. Alice becomes angry and very frustrated, she grabs the walkie-talkie and vents her anger at the sniper, she mocks him and tells him it's going to take a lot more than just killing her to solve all of his issues. She thinks the sniper is Henry and calls him by his name. There is silence but a few moments later, the sniper asks her who Henry is. As the two of them are talking, a car with an old couple stop at the gas station. The man exits his vehicle but is startled when he sees Doug's corpse, as he tries to get back to his car, he is shot. His wife quickly rushes to his aid but she is also finished off. Her husband tries to crawl over to her but with one final shot, the elderly couple are killed. The sniper turns his attention to Alice and tells her they both share an evil gene and that she will pass that down to her child. Alice tells him that they are nothing alike, she chooses not to have children so they don't have to suffer in this world. She tells him that she doesn't want her children to end up like a psychopath like him, someone so weak that he has to hide in the dark and kill so many innocent people. As Alice screams out at the sniper, she sees a little girl in the backseat of the car. Alice pleads with the sniper not to kill her and he tells her if he wanted to, she'd already be dead. The sniper asks if Alice would die for the little girl and she tells him that she would. The sniper tells her that she has only two minutes to get the girl to safety. Alice tries to signal to her to get out and run away, however Cindy is too scared and instead runs over to her. Alice blocks the door and returns to the other exit and starts to cut through the lock. We then see the sniper come down from the billboard and make his way to the store. Alice somehow manages to break open the lock and gets out. Unfortunately for her, she is met with shutters in front of her and she is not able to get out of the store, Alice realizes that she has no choice and that she will have to face the sniper. 
She puts Cindy in a safe place and gets ready. The sniper enters the store and makes his way to the back but as he looks around, Alice runs up behind him and stabs him with a rod in his back. He manages to pull it out and they get into a struggle. The sniper gets the upper hand and he points a gun at her as she tries to pull off his balaclava. Suddenly, there is a gun shot and Alice falls to the ground. The sniper then enters back room and begins looking around. He finds Cindy and just as he is about to remove his mask and reveal himself, Alice appears from behind and hits him on the back of the head with a fire extinguisher. When he tries to get up one last time, she strikes him again and he falls to the ground. She then picks him up and drags him towards the hydraulic press. She tries to remove his mask but the machine turns on and crushes his skull. Alice is shocked and begins crying out loudly, she realizes that she will never know the sniper's motive or who he was. She is badly injured and sits back against the machine totally devastated. As she takes her last breath, we see that Cindy was watching the whole time. It is now early morning and we see Cindy run outside. She looks around and with no one there, she walks off into the distance all alone and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.